the Davenport Diamond Elevated Guideway for Go Transit's Berry Line started being used in April, but that doesn't mean the project is complete. Today, we're checking out the continued work taking place to complete the Elevated Guideway and Linear Park underneath. At Bloor Street, the old East Rail Bridge was torn down recently and work has started to begin installing a new bridge. This was needed to allow the double tracking works on the Berry Line. The Patton Road pedestrian underpass hasn't been opened yet, but from Patton to Wallace Avenue, cladding on the noise walls has begun. While better than the concrete noise walls, the renders definitely looked better and shinier. From Wallace Avenue, we can see that the ground level diversion track has been fully removed from the corridor and should mean that work to build the greenway can begin soon. The infrastructure for the rail crossing has also been fully removed, except for the tracks on the road, of course. Near Campbell Park, cladding on the guideway hasn't started yet, but the site underneath the guideway has been cleaned up a little bit. Inside the electrical and communications room, electrical equipment is being installed, although the main structure of the building has been completed for quite some time now. The Davenport Diamond Rail Junction was removed by CPKC Railway in June, which means a significant reduction in noise as trains won't be going over the diamond anymore. Going a little further north, the mechanically stabilized earth walls Basically, the ramps that carry the tracks onto the elevated guideway have continued to be filled in to make space for a second track. The full MSE wall wasn't able to be built while the diversion track was in use, but now that it's been removed, the remaining section of ramp is able to be built. Similar work is going on for the south MSE wall from Wallace to Bluer. Construction of the Davenport Diamond grade separation project is nearing its end, although the greenway underneath still needs to be built. The project is one of the larger steps in completing GO expansion and bringing frequent rail service to the GTA, but it also reduces noise in Toronto's West End and adds a new linear park. Thanks for watching.